Shalom. Welcome to the 13th Shir of Machlokas Rishonim on Sefer Dvar. We're going to be looking at Sefer Shoftim, Parak Tazayin, Pasuk Chav Beis. And the Pasuk says as follows, Lo sakim matzeva asher sonei Hashem alkecha. You shall not build a pillar for yourself, which Hashem, your God, hates. Okay, so what are we talking about? What does it mean that Hashem hates? Let's look at Rashi's commentary on Pasuk Chav Beis. We're going to see a Machlokas between Rashi and Ramban. And Rashi says, Asher Sonei, which Hashem your God hates, Mizbach Avanim. This is a altar of many stones. Mizbayach Adama, and an altar that's made out of the dirt. Tzivalasos, that Hashem said you should make. Vedzu Sonei, but this one stone altar he hates. Kichok HaYisalakohanim, because it was a custom of the Canaanites who used it, and they used it for idolatry. Vafapish HaYisalakohanim, and even though at a time it was Hashem liked a one stone altar, Bimea Avos, like at the time of the Avos, we see that Yaakov offered a korban on a one stone altar. Achshav Sone, but now Hashem hates it. Meachashasuhu Ela, since the Canaanim started using it, Chokla Vodazar became a custom for Avodazar, therefore Hashem hated it. The Ramban has a lot of problems with Rashi's interpretation of this, of how he understands that Hashem hates it if Yaakov himself had made a had made an idol, had used it, uh, a one stone altar himself, so how could Hashem hate it? So the Ramban explains, we're going to look at the Ramban, we're going to skip around until you see Vatam Asher Sanei. It's not its own Divriya Maschil. The Ramban spends a large portion of time before this, and you're more than willing to look at it yourselves, but explaining what he has a problem, his problem with Rashi's interpretation. And now he says, his explanation is, Vatam Asher Sanei Beor, this is what it means, um, it's an explanation as to why we're not allowed to use a one stone altar. Right? Right? Hashem says, make an altar either out of dirt or out of many stones for me. Those are the type of altars that Hashem wants. But that's to the exclusion of an altar that's made out of um, one stone. Why right, that Hashem hates? Shekol ma'aseim snuim l'fanav, because all the actions of the Canaanites, all their practices, are hated to, are hateful to Hashem. Mitziva Yisrael shol yasu k'ma'aseim, and now that Hashem has commanded them, after the time of the Elbos, that they should not act in the way that the Canaanim act. So now they have an, for a prohibition of building a one stone matzeva. So according to Rashi, what was the turning point that Hashem started hating these once the Canaanim started using it? Okay, according to the Ramban, that's probably true also, but it only became forbidden to B'nai Yisrael once Hashem commanded them that they should no longer build, one, uh, they should no longer follow the practices of the Canaanites of the Ovde Avodah Zara. So that's your debate. Again, the true wisdom of this debate, as amazing as it is on a surface level, will only be borne out by your analyzation. Use the sheets to help you, and I look forward to hearing what you come up with.